No. Watched a video the other day because I got a uh, pine tree. <laughs> it sits right above my car. So, they said to use some uh, alcohol on it. So I just went and got this green stuff. And what happened is, it just dyed the car a little bit. You can see the white streaks, but I'll be able to bleach that off this paint. But what I'd like to say about what I learned on the internet is uh, the alcohol worked pretty good, but it did make it sticky, okay? So it definitely softened up the sap from the pine tree. So, but what I found out is if you use something like the paint thinner video that we seen, or you may have seen, you can see how it just wipes right off, okay? I've been letting this uh, stuff sit in the alcohol for quite some time, but you can see that we still have a patch of residue left over. So this is sort of like a paint thinner thing, and it works a little bit quicker than the paint thinner video. So. This is a Swan's 50% isopropyl alcohol. Just sitting on here, little swatches of a paper towel. And I just poured it on there and let it sit. Been sitting there for, you know, a good 15, 20 minutes. Now I'm just gonna remove the swatches and then we have the tar underneath. I'm going to dry and you see it does soften it up, but I mean, it just don't rub off like it should. So what we use is a paint thinner base and you can see it just, totally removes the mark right away so let's go do another one okay that one don't have as much but it still has a base of the uh, sap I may be saying tar because I remove tar all day long but anyways the sap is still on the car after we remove the swatches of alcohol but if you use a like a solvent based cleaner after it's soft, it just comes off so nice. Okay, here's some more. I'll just go here, get all these swatches. Okay, I'm gonna dry it. And you'll see which ones appear. They're still there. And then I'm just gonna take the uh, solvent-based cleaner. Boom, boom, boom. You can see how quick and easy that works. Okay, it is soft, so the solvent base cleaner just comes and picks it right back up, gets rid of it, and then we're going to be able to buff this car out. See, you can tell I have a lot of tar on this car. So I'll remove these three swatches. It's fairly dry, but you can see they're still there. So anyways, if you like this video, watch some of my other ones. Uh, save it to favorites and, uh, you know, join my channel. I'm going to be making more videos of things that I learned, things that I know about. This is a truck polisher at gmail.com. My name's Wayne. If you uh, got any questions or comments, uh, go ahead and post them in the comment section. I'll try to answer them when I can. So, And uh, the material that I used on this, I mean, I used such a low amount of solvent that... I'd probably say I used probably about less than a buck worth of material to do this. Remove the swatches, dry the area. You can tell how it just comes up. And then you use the solvent to remove them. Okay, it's just like the paint thinner uh, one that I've watched on the internet on YouTube here. So remove the swatches, dry the area. Okay, now we got one that's pretty tough in here. Okay, didn't touch it, must have been a real old one. And uh, we'll see how this, uh, how this is gonna react with that one, okay? So there's the one that's real tough. You can see how the solvent, it was softened up enough by the uh, alcohol that I was able to remove that one too, so. That's basically all done, guys. The car is swatch-free and tar-free. Remember, this is truckpolisher at gmail.com. 
Also starting a website, trekpolisher.com. Got any comments, questions? Give me, shoot me an email. Uh, watch the buffing aluminum. That's what I actually do, is buff aluminum for a living. And, uh, you know, maybe you have some interest in that. So, all right. Thanks so much for watching. This is Wayne with Truck Polisher at gmail.com, truckpolisher.com. Saying goodbye.